Raise your hand if you are a busy mom who has trouble balancing all the different things that life throws at you from activities to appointments to work-related obligations to family time to friend time. I mean, it just goes on and on. And I know I am one of those raising my hand right now, juggling so much as a busy working mom, whether you're working mom or not, you still have to juggle so much. And I have found finally the system that works for me and I know works for a lot of women across the world and I wanted to share it with you today. I don't know about you, but this time of year leading into summer is such a hectic time as well as the beginning of the school year and Christmas time. It's like all this stuff piles up and I'm just left feeling like there are not enough hours in the day. I'm so stressed and I just feel like I need a time to just sit down and deal with all the random stuff that I need to deal with. And that is exactly what this video is all about. Enter the Sunday basket. Now I have actually done a video on Sunday baskets almost two years ago now. I started the system, but I didn't stick with it. I had just had a baby and I didn't really like how mine was set up, but I have followed Lisa Woodruff from Organize 365 who actually came up with the Sunday basket idea for quite a few years now. And her team actually reached out to me and offered to send me their actual Sunday basket as well as the trainings that go along with it if you purchase one yourself. And I am obsessed. I mean, everything in this video is completely my own opinion, but I wanted to share with you guys what I love about it, how I'm using it, and how it can really help you get out of the rut of just getting by each day and allow you to have more time to do the things that actually matter, the business you want to start, more time with your family, planning vacations, more time with your spouse, more reading, all that stuff is a lot easier to do when you have something like this in place that you do once a week that helps you tackle all the random stuff that you don't really want to do, but you have to do it because you're an adult and you're a mom. So what exactly is a Sunday basket? A Sunday basket is a basket that you throw a bunch of stuff in throughout the week that you will need to deal with eventually. And every Sunday or any day of your choosing, you sit down and you go through it. You tackle the things you need to do and the rest you wait until the next Sunday. And eventually it gets done. It gets filed. It gets the phone calls get made, the appointments get made, the invitations get sent out, all that stuff ends up happening on that day that you choose. For me, I'm actually doing it on Fridays. It just works a lot better because I meal prep on Sundays when my kids are asleep. So it just works out well to do it on Fridays. I'm a daycare provider, so I do it during nap on Friday, but you can choose any day of the week to do it. Just make sure you stick with it. So basically all week you get bombarded with mail and coupons and school papers, invitations, your own to-do lists, all things like that. And you just drop them in your basket. It's basically like your brain in physical form. And when it goes in here, you no longer have to hold it up here, which is awesome. Cause I don't know about you moms, this brain doesn't work like it used to work. I forget things that I'm saying mid sentence. So I don't trust that anything can actually get done if it's up here. But if it's in here, I know I will be looking at it weekly so I can stay on top of it. Basically anything that would be sitting on your kitchen counter or wherever stuff accumulates in your house, it sits in here and that way it's contained. It looks a lot nicer than a pile of crap on your counter and you're actually going to do something about it because it's a system. So let me just kind of show you what's in here. Now you can definitely make your own Sunday basket. I had made my own. I will link to that video below, but it was just too big and it wasn't organized. I love everything that comes with this. So I'm going to show you guys and kind of take you on a tour. So with the Sunday basket, if you were to order from Organize 365, you would get this lidded basket super high quality. It folds down flat and it's wonderful. It comes in lots of different colors. I just went with gray and then it actually says Sunday basket on there, which is pretty cool, but it's meant to be left open. So you can drop stuff in there at any time. I'm going to take out all my random papers that are in here right now that I need to go through, um, next Friday for me because I do it on Fridays, but I want to show you guys what it looks like inside. There is a really cool divider right here. It Velcro's in place. So if you have more papers than this, you can actually angle it bigger so that they all can fit, but I don't have a lot in mine right now. And then also has a mesh little pouch right here that you can put stuff in as well. So I really like those features. It's very, very sturdy and looks super nice and very durable. And then you also get what she calls the slash pockets. And I'm gonna walk you through what those are. You get one set of the slash pockets 1.0 and then um, a bunch of the slash pockets 2.0. I think it's one set, but it comes in lots of different colors. And I'm going to go over what these are. 
this has really revolutionized how I use this and I didn't have a good system for these before. What I also really love is that when you buy this, you get trainings on this that come with it. They also have a Sunday basket podcast. I will link below that walks you through, but I really like the trainings that are just for the people who bought this. Cause it actually walks through how to use these different slash pockets, what they're for, how to set up your own to work for you. And it's just a very great training walking you through how to actually do this. And there's lots of other links in there to resources and other further trainings as well. When you buy the Sunday basket along with the trainings, there's also some free printables you get. So I'm just gonna kind of walk through them a little bit. So the Slash Pockets 1.0 are the first ones you're gonna use. And there are five, there's red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And it also comes with a little information on what to use each one for. So I actually labeled mine. The red one is my weekly to do. So things that I need to do that week. So I've put in my Sunday basket, I've looked at it and I know, okay, those are things I can't do today, but I need to do this week. So maybe make a doctor appointment or send out an invitation an RSVP or something, run to the store. Those would all go in here for things I need to do and that I might want to write on my planner to remember to do. Orange is the calendar or computer related thing. So if it's like a bill I need to pay on the computer this week, I'd put it there. Um, you know, if I need to buy something on the computer, I'd put it there or things that I need to put into my calendar, go in that one. Any errand related items I put in here, money related items go in here and then anything I'm waiting on go in here. And these are things you're doing sooner rather than later. More longer term things you use your Slash Pockets 2.0. So let's look at those. So the Slash Pockets 2.0 are actually whole sets of Slash Pockets in different colors. So there's five blue, five pink, five purple, and five green. And so each color corresponds with a different area of life. So the green are things like money and work related. So I have one for taxes and these are ones you kind of make up on your own. So I have one for taxes, receipts, coupons, and any daycare related like expense things since I'm a daycare provider. The purple are any like home related things. So I have a two file one. So every so often I go through and actually throw those in my file cabinet. And then I have any house related things. So if there's like a house project I wanna work on or house ideas or stuff like that, I'd put it in there. And I'm gonna be going through these every week. So it's helping me remember and stay on top of these things. The pink are for you. So anything you wanna keep track of, any dreams, if you want exercise or um, weight loss or something like that, or any hobbies you're into, those will go in here. So I have one for our YouTube channel. I could have a whole separate box for YouTube, but I just wanted to put it in here. And then my notes, cause I'm constantly keeping notes to myself. And so I just can put them in there. And then lastly, blue is for your family. So I have one for my husband, one for each of my daughters and then anything else um, upcoming. So we actually have a cabin trip. So I put cabin on there so I can put any packing list, things I wanna do, um, stuff I found online. I could print it out and put it in here for the cabin. And so that way I know where to put it and where to reference it. And then I also keep an extra folder just with my Sunday basket items, the printouts and reference guides and stuff like that as I'm learning to use it. That way I have it all really handy in here. So the basics of how to use it. Now, I don't expect people to watch this video and then all of a sudden they can do a Sunday basket, but it's just to give you the idea because a lot of people have never heard of it and to give you some tips to get started. So basically when you start, you pick a time and you wanna stay committed to that time every single week. If you can't do it that time a certain week, you need to make sure you can do it a different time that week to make up for it. So, you know, it's called a Sunday basket. So traditionally most people do it on Sunday. Like I said, I'm gonna do mine on Friday cause it just works better with my life in that way. And it helps me start the weekend knowing I kind of tackled all the stuff that I need to tackle to kind of clear my mind for the weekend. And then throughout the week, you're going to have things come into your life and you're gonna ask yourself, can this wait until Sunday? That's the really key question. That's the main question you're gonna ask yourself. So if something comes home from school for your kids, you ask, can this wait until Sunday? If it's a yes, you just drop it in your Sunday basket. You don't even have to put it in a folder, you just drop it in. If it's no, then obviously you deal with it right then. If mail comes in, you ask yourself, 
can I wait on this until Sunday? If the answer is yes, drop it in. If no, you deal with it sometime that week. So you just do that with all the papers and stuff that comes into your life. Can this wait until Sunday? Yes, put it in the basket. If not, deal with it that week or come up with a plan to deal with it that week. So it really opens up your mind because you only have to ask one question and you know what to do, whether the answer is yes or no. Okay, then Sunday comes. You're gonna go through everything in your basket. I start with the loose stuff in there, the mail that I just dropped in there, the loose papers of which like this week I have a ton because I'm just constantly making notes about gardening and daycare and video ideas and what have you. So I go through those first. I put them in whatever pocket they need to go to. And then I deal with any that I need to deal with right now. Now, the nice thing is once you're going through this basket, you're going to ask yourself, can this wait until next Sunday? So if there's something in there that's time sensitive, you ask yourself, can it wait until next Sunday? If the answer is yes, you leave it in there, you deal with it next Sunday and ask yourself the same question. If not, then you deal with it today or you make a plan to deal with it pretty soon. So let's say your kid comes home with a reminder that they have to bring snack to preschool in two weeks. So you put it in your Sunday basket. The first Sunday, you would say, do I have to worry about this today? No, I can worry about it next Sunday. So you leave it in there. Then the next Sunday rolls around. Can this wait until the next Sunday? No. So then I will deal with it then. So you don't have to worry about it getting done because you know every Sunday you're going to be checking it and reminding yourself to do it if it's upcoming that week. So it's really handy and helps you not have that clutter in your mind of all the stuff you have to do because you know you're going to deal with it eventually and you know you're on top of it. So then, you know, you get your pile of stuff you have to do. I will sort my mail and put some in a shred pile that I deal with when it gets really full. And then the other mail, I ask myself, do I need to deal with this today or can I wait until next Sunday? If it needs to deal with today, then I deal with it then. Otherwise, I wait. Then I go to my computer and I do any computer related things that I pay my bills. I budget for the next week. I, you know, do any online shopping I have to do, any online RSVP, any email I need to get back to that was in my Sunday basket. Anything in your Sunday basket that's required at the computer, I try to do then. So I'm not like running around doing all these different things. Anything that has to be done at the computer, I do right then. And then I can move on to the other things. And then you basically just go through all the rest, see if there's anything else you need to do then. If not, it can wait. And if so, you get it done right then. Lisa Woodruff says it usually takes about, you know, 30 minutes to two hours to do your Sunday basket. Since most of ours include bill paying and things like that, you know, that does take some time paying the bills, balancing the checkbook, fixing the budget, all that kind of stuff. So that does take a good chunk of time. And then depending on what you have going on in your life, some things may take more time, some things may take less. It really just depends. And so I just love that even though it takes time this one day of the week, it saves me so much time throughout the week because I was writing in my planner, RSVP to that, call that person, sign up for that. Oh, make sure I bring Celia's preschool stack. Like I was writing all these things down and having to remember it all on random days. Now I only have to remember it one day a week, deal with it then, and then the rest just takes care of itself because I'm keeping up with it on a weekly basis. I really hope this video helped you in some way, whether just to spark the idea or give you some other idea for how to stay on top of all the things we juggle as busy working moms. Let me know if you like this kind of video and I will make sure to do more in the future. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.